Can you tell us a little bit about what you did before you became a PA? Uh, so prior to PA school in general, um, I, I studied uh, kinesiology at the University of Guelph Humber. Uh, that's where I kind of found my passion for anatomy physiology and I wanted to apply that uh, more into a clinical practice setting. So previously I was looking into uh, becoming an uh, exercise physiologist um, and just along the way I kind of fell in love with orthopedics as a whole and started looking around for other opportunities to kind of continue that passion. So I found the physician assistant program, um, actually more through word of mouth from a family member who suggested a physician assistant as a role because she was a nurse working in the United States, very well established there, and I started looking more into it and ever since then it just kind of fell into place. And were there other careers that you were considering apart from exercise physiologist? Yeah, actually, so I was looking into both occupational therapy and physiotherapy. So in kinesiology in itself, um, a lot of, at least from my experience with my colleagues, is that it is a, a fairly smooth transition over to one of those two fields. Um, I was looking into it, but I wasn't sure whether or not it was something that really would have held my interest for a long period of time. I think I wanted something that was a little bit more broader in scope and had a little bit more opportunities for development in the future. Do you ever consider the MD route? I did previously. Um, I felt that, you know, it's it's definitely it was definitely an option at the time. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought that I wanted to start working as soon as possible. And in a way, it, it kind of did detract me from that MD route just because going through medical school, going through residency, fellowship, and applying for a full time position, you know, it, it didn't seem as appealing to me at the time. And of course, you know, I, I just found that something like a physician assistant route was just a bit more you know, specific to what I wanted at the time and going forward I think that I made the right choice. Okay, and just a general overview, what are some um, things that you enjoy about being a PA? Uh, a PA as a profession actually, it's, it's really interesting because it is a very new and exciting position. Uh, a lot of people, you know, and I speak with a lot of my physician assistant colleagues in the United States, even now it's, uh, it's very new in the States and especially here in Canada, it's definitely something that I really enjoy being part of something new, something innovative, and something that is definitely growing. And you know, here at the Kappa Conference, I, I definitely see just how much our profession has changed. Um, it's definitely something that has opened a lot of opportunities for me, not just in a clinical setting, but also in other settings in the hospital as well as just uh, in teaching. Are you happy with your decision to become a PA? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. I think that this is something that I've always, I've never taken for granted. I think this is something that I'm always grateful for because every time I go to work, I'm always wondering, you know, what, what is it that I can do to make you know, the lives of my patients better? And in many ways, it's really humbling to see that there's so many people who, who come in through the fracture clinic, patients that I've seen multiple times previously, both as an outpatient and as an inpatient, and to see how much they've improved, I think that there's a certain level of, of satisfaction that you just can't get from any other profession.